Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. This week's news podcast is sponsored by Helios Mobile. Elevator World and Helios Mobile have partnered to bring you the next generation in safety program management. Using a mobile phone or tablet, Elevator World safety meetings can now be viewed and answered by mechanics in the field or at home using a simple yes-no question format, then digitally signed. The questions are then scored and results sent to the supervisor. With Helios Mobile and Elevator World's safety meetings, you can create more time on the job and less time creating paperwork while maintaining a safe work environment. For more information and to schedule your free demo, visit elevatorbooks.com by clicking on the link in the show notes. This is your daily industry news update for May the 12th, 2017. In today's news, Interlift organizers are gearing up for their largest event ever. A proposed tower will add affordable housing to a New York City neighborhood. And a man was killed while riding a lift meant for goods only. AFAG, organizer of Interlift, predicts this fall's event will be the largest ever with about 600 exhibitors, a 10% increase over Interlift 2015. So far, about 430 have signed up for the expo, scheduled for October 17th through 20th at the Augsburg Exhibition Center in Augsburg, Germany. Big topics this year include new International Organization for Standardization Norms and Digitization. The VFA Forum will offer talks on topics entitled Turkey, the Gateway to the Middle East, and Megacities, the Habitats of the Future. To accommodate the increased interest, Interlift is expanding its floor area by 2,000 square meters to a total of about 44,000 square meters. AFAG describes Interlift as a, quote, must-attend event for all who have anything to do with lifts, end quote. Pending rezoning, the New York City Economic Development Corporation is planning a 500-foot-tall tower at 495 11th Avenue that would add affordable housing to the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood of Manhattan, according to New York Yimby, which cites a Wall Street Journal report. The city selected Radson Development and Kings Point Heights Development to oversee the project, which is set to include about 230 apartments, 200,000 square feet of office space, 80,000 square feet of student housing, a supermarket, and parking for the police department. Groundbreaking at the site, between West 39th and 40th Streets, is anticipated in fall 2019 with completion in 2022. A man died as a result of becoming trapped between a wall and an elevator in a shop in Indoor, India on May 5th, the Times of India reports. The man pleaded for help for approximately two hours, but by the time responders reached him by using electric cutters, he had died. Investigators believe he stuck his head out of what was described as a, quote, makeshift lift End quote, that was intended to move goods only. When the lift ascended, the man's head caught on the roof of the ground floor and he was dragged down between lift and wall. The shop owner was found culpable and charged. For more industry-related information, visit elevatorworld.com and be sure to subscribe to our podcast on iTunes or the Google Play Store. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor of the Elevator World News Podcast, just let us know by emailing advertising at elevatorworld.com.